Hi guys, my Marvel here. Today I'm going to talk to you about stunts. The best way for you, for you personally. There are rights and wrongs, of course there are, but for you, what might be right or wrong is the opposite to, to someone else. Now, I throw like this. My foot goes kind of more or less way over to the left, and then I stabilize myself with my, my training leg so the ball of my foot is on the ground. I can literally move my big toes. Now the fact that I can move my big toes on my trailing leg means that I can't really lift myself up and do that. And once I'm planted with this foot and that is how it is, I now can't really move at all. But you have to distribute the weight fully on the lead foot. So you can feel a bit of the heel, a bit of the instep, a bit of the ball of your foot, and just your toes a little, all kind of touching the ground at the same time. And then once you stabilize yourself by just leaning that tiny bit forward, and the reason for that slight forward push, which is just an extension of the back leg, you see I'm just leaning that little bit forward. If you lean back, when you're propelling the dart, when you're releasing the dart, you're gonna be inaccurate. Because what happens is you end up doing something like that, and that's no good. When you are throwing anything in life, we kind of go forward with it, don't we? So don't let a dart be any different to that. And if you, no matter where you stand on the hockey, make sure, make sure that you're comfortable. You have to be comfortable, you have to be sturdy. That's what you have to be. You have to stabilize yourself. Plant that foot, plant it. Whether you stand like that to the hockey, like that, 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 it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Distribute the weight fully. And also this training leg that most of you kind of ask me questions about is that because it's doing nothing sometimes. Make it do something. That's stabilizing me. Yes, I'm moving as I'm throwing. Of course I am. It's impossible to keep still. But let me assure you, nothing is raising here like it can, and nothing is doing this, and nothing is, is doing that. So distribute the weight fully on the front foot, your, lead, your trailing foot. Make sure the ball of your foot at least is touching. You can put the whole foot on the ground if it's more comfortable. But the one thing you shouldn't be doing is that. You do not want to go down the road of just have it like a bit floating or, or, or doing this sometimes. That, it's just doing nothing. It's not helping you. It's not helping you. And if it's not helping you, it's hindering you. And that is what you don't want. And just to mention about where you want to stand on the hockey, um, this is important because, right, if I stand there and I have the same stance, this is over this side, and I throw now, I feel slightly tighter here. My pectoral muscles, I believe they're called, I, I don't have them, I, I, I'm lacking all kinds of muscles, but they kind of tighten up. If you were to just kind of stand there and do that, right, so just stand there and, and do that, bring it round. You feel these muscles tighten up. Now, in an ideal world, that would not happen to you when you throw, but there are players that have been unbelievably good throwing like this. So there's always exceptions to the rules, but remember, they are so talented, it makes me sick. Uh, Colin Lloyd was one. You used to stand like that, like this, bring that, and uh, the thought of it makes me feel tight. World match play champion, former world number one, Grand Prix champion, but the one that sticks out is Gary Anderson. Again, that would tighten up. But he makes it work for him. It doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. You don't want anything tightening. Like you don't want any kind of movements here. So where you actually stand is as important as how you stand. And what I would recommend, we've seen professionals do this, they're right over to one side, they're right over to one side. Look, don't make the game any more difficult than it is because trust me, 
I made it look impossible because sometimes it is.